has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Facebook is saying they are ready. Awesome. Awesome. YouTube is ready. Is TikTok ready? Very ready. Hello, Abiela. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. I greet you all from Pretoria, South Africa. We are ready to get going. Today, I want you to start by typing in the comments, power to manifest and excel, power to manifest and excel, power to manifest and excel, power to manifest and excel. We are going to release the power to manifest and excel. We are going to release the power to manifest and excel. We're going to be praying along and hearing what the word of the Lord has to say for us in that regard, power to manifest and excel. Great stuff. You see, when you comment like this, as fast as this, you give me the fire as well. I get fired up. Amen. We have power to manifest and excel. We're going to find out what it is in the intention of heaven concerning this issue for us in Jesus mighty name. The Bible says the endless expectation of the creature uh, or creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The, the endless expectation of creation waits for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. They are waiting for me and you to manifest. They are waiting for me and you to excel. Make sure Facebook you are sharing on our my, on our WhatsApp groups. Make sure you are also sharing on your timelines and your groups in the various respects. Amen. We are going to go deeper into manifestation and then we are also going to zero in on excel, excelling and finding out what the Lord has in store for us concerning that issue. So I welcome everybody to today's broadcast once more. This is the protocol uh, breaking prayer altar where we declare and we decree, we pray, we read the word together, we fellowship together and we see manifestation. Amen. Hallelujah. So I am I'm glad to, to see what the Lord is doing in all your lives in various respects. I am so excited. The testimonies yesterday were just going ballistic and I just got excited. So if you are coming on our broadcast for the first time, get ready for your manifestation. Get ready to excel. Get ready to receive the anointing that is going to propel you forward. Get ready to listen to transformational messages on this platform. These messages that you will hear on this platform will definitely move you forward what they will transform your life for good. So get ready. I want you to tell yourself this morning, I don't live here without the manifestation of the glory of God. I will live here equipped knowing what to do to manifest the glory of God. It is the will of God to manifest his glory inside of you as a child of God. Hallelujah. And when we look at the passage, for example, my, my favorite scripture in Isaiah chapter 60, verse one to three, you understand that God has given a prophetic word that we are to arise and shine and because that will happen because our light has come so when you hear the word this morning you are hearing the word that is bringing light to your life you are hearing a word that will equip you you are hearing a word that bears evidence you are hearing a word that has witness you are hearing a word that repeats itself from a god who does not lie he's not a man that he should lie you are hearing a word from a god that has said that he will definitely make sure that it comes to pass in your lifetime to see what you need to see what to to to, to see your destiny for fulfilled. If you apply his principles of his word, he says the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. That means that he is giving you an instruction this morning that you will arise from your depression. You will arise from anything that has been trying to keep you low, anything that has been trying to keep you shush, that, that has been saying that you will not manifest to anything that is better or, 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 or good in your life. He says the glory is risen upon you. It means that you need to dust yourself up and you need to tell yourself, I can go again another day. I can give it another shot. Somebody type it again. Power to manifest and excel. I have power to manifest and excel. He says, behold, the darkness has covered the earth, but light comes. And when the light comes, he, it will move, remove everything, all the darkness that is covering the people. He says, the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you because you are my child. I called you out to into this, into this marvelous light. Hallelujah. And he says, Gentiles shall come to your light because people shall be attracted to see what is making you shine. What is making you set apart? What 
is making you to be an overcomer? What is making you come back and fight the devil in his face every single day? What is that thing that is making you come back to the ring and say, I'm going to put on my boxing gloves and I'm going to fight until I win. I'm not out of this thing until I win. It is not over. Tell your neighbor, it is not over until I manifest. It is not over until I excel. It is my right to excel. It is my power to excel. It is within me. And therefore I'm going to manifest this thing. It is in my DNA. Not only will I manifest to my community, but kings shall come to the brightness of my rising because I'm going to be going into doors and, and, and rooms and palaces that God has set apart for me and you. Hallelujah. I have power to manifest and I have power to excel. Heavenly Father, I thank you to come into this meeting this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you created us in your image. Thank you, Lord, that your intention to manifest your glory is going to be made to come to pass in this meeting today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to you, O God, our Father, that through this message, you will reposition us, O God, that we will come to a level of manifesting your glory in Jesus' mighty name, that we will come to the point where we, 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 we come to the anointing of excellence operating fully inside of us in Jesus' mighty name. Mara official, come on. I, I know you can do it. I know you can share this live broadcast every single person who's on this broadcast share it with these 10 people if you are lazy you at least share with one person and you keep tapping on that screen and you comment and engage the more you comment the more you provoke the anointing the more you talk to me the more the holy spirit then comes through me to talk and say what he wants to say hallelujah so i want you to make a demand on the anointing to say lord i came needing a word this morning and i need direction i need guidance i don't know what you came here looking for this morning whether it is reinforcement but you are going to go ahead that you see i'm already here heating up because people are already making a demand on the anointing. I have power to manifest. The more you engage, the more I engage, the more I also dig in deep into my belly to understand what God wants. I dig in into the wells of the living water. I dig in into the spirit. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, manifestation of his glory is going to happen in this lifetime in Jesus' mighty name. It's happening in your life in the month of June and beyond. In the month, in the year of 2023, you are not going out the same way that you came in in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that they are going to mix their faith, uh, Lord, they, uh, with the word with faith as they hear it, oh God. And when they mix it, oh God, your intention shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree and I declare that the plans of God shall be manifest in your life. Uh, God wants each and every single person who is at the sound of my voice uh, to manifest his glory. Somebody say it again. Uh, power to manifest and excel. I have power to manifest and excel. I have no doubt in my mind that God is going to speak to you. I want to tell somebody that that God is calling your name this morning. God is calling your name. There is an intention that God wants to let you know about. He says, if you make a demand on me, I will cover you with a blanket of glory. I will manifest my glory in your life. Understand that I'm making a calling to you. I'm coming to check in with you as well. I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to call your name. Hallelujah. And I'm calling your name this morning to rise and shine. I'm calling your name that you understand and you see that your light has come, that your word has come. I'm calling you to step up on the, on the the letter of glory in Jesus mighty name. He says, I'm calling you to step up into your excellence moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me paint this illustration to you. When a student is at school, it means that he wants to do excellently well. I don't think unless you were forced by your parents to go to a, a school and you are sitting in that classroom forcefully, but if you go to school, you expect to excel. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree, I prophesy to your children right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even as they are writing exams, those who are in college, those who are in high school, and those who are even in starting school that they will not only go to school to just become there and uh, become ornaments and stooges in those classrooms, but they will excel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will excel in their academics and they will excel in sports in Jesus mighty name. Oh my God, I'm already declaring and prophesying. Make sure you receive your word and you don't miss it. Make sure you are making notes. You've got your journal. You've got your pen ready. Some of the scriptures that I will go through, I will not read all of them out, but I will say them as prophetically as the Lord brings them through in Jesus mighty name. So make sure you you don't miss a beat. Hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, I am shining. I am, I'm excelling. I'm, I'm shining and I'm excelling. Hallelujah. But you, you begin to understand that Daniel was shining because of an excellent spirit inside of him. There was an excellent spirit that was found inside of him. So your prayer this morning should be God, put that excellent spirit inside of me that I excel like Daniel, that I shine even more than Daniel in Jesus mighty name. I declare by the word of God that you will excel and you will manifest 
manifest his glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David stood over Goliath, drawing Goliath's sword and cutting off his head and lifted it up. Hallelujah. May you lift up your giants that have been threatening you. This morning you are receiving the anointing to cut off the, the giants that have been pursuing you, the giants that have been trying to subject you to the floor. Right now, pick up their head. You will defeat your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nobody lives here empty-handed. Nobody lives here not equipped. You are not ill-equipped. You have what you need. You have the resources you need in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it again. I prophesy that you will not be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not def be defeated, but instead you will defeat the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that there is no weapon fashioned against you that shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even from this moment, I don't know what has defeated you before, but it will no longer defeat you again. David, David was the man who began to shine in Israel. I want you to say your name and say, Fortune, you're going to begin to shine in South Africa. Fortune, you're going to begin to shine in Africa. Fortune, you're going to shine in the whole continent in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to declare it upon yourself that you are going to shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you look at the star of the of Israel, it's a, it, the symbol of Israel is represented in the star, and that is the star of David because it represents that David had, had begun to shine. Hallelujah. He went from the bush into the palace. Hallelujah. I am declaring and I'm prophesying this morning that God is moving you from a bush experience into a palace experience. He's moving you from the back into the front. That way you will shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord is going to rise upon you. You are going to shine in your community, in your society, in your country and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who travel overseas, as you step into those shows, you will shine. God will position you and open the doors for you in speed. In Jesus mighty name, I declare and I decree that your light shall no longer be hidden. Nobody can suppress your success. Nobody can suppress your light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that the word of God says that men do not light a lamp and put it under a table, nor light a lamp and put it under a table. They don't hide a lamp under a table. It is not meant to be under the table. That is why he says, I prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies so that you can sit at the table in the presence of your enemies with the kings that I have brought to the shining of your rising in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, you begin to shine in the midst of the darkness. You begin to shine in the midst of the manipulation. You begin to shine in the midst of everything that they are shooting towards you. Every arrow bounces back and it goes back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could shout a believing amen better than you are shouting right now in the name of Jesus Christ from today. I declare that your presence will drive away darkness. Your presence will drive away darkness in your family, in your community. Your presence will drive away the darkness in your workplace in the name of Jesus Christ. I say those that have been plotting against you in the workplace, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that from now, somebody, one of them will come and confess that they have been trying to manipulate evil. But Lord, but the Lord, but the Lord says the anointing you live here carrying this morning will make sure that it exposes their darkness. They will start to fight against each other. Talk to me somebody. Your presence in the family will also begin to bring excellence because they will see excellence. You are receiving the grace for excellence and to be an example to your family and your generation. Your children will see you excelling. Your children will not see you crying and giving up, but your children will see you rising and going up. Joseph began to shine in Israel because Pharaoh asked him to go and bring his father and his bring his brothers. Hallelujah. But he began began to shine. Some of you were meant to enhance your family's economy. Some of you were meant to bring up your community's name. Some of you were meant to, 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 to write, make your family's name famous, but your name your, of the family is not famous. What is causing that thing? You need to deal with that thing. What is that thing that is slowing you down from making your name famous? What is slowing your name down for, 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 for your, your family's name down? What is causing you to be a non-entity in the name of Jesus Christ? I break that spirit of becoming a nobody in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare it again. I said you will have power to manifest and you will excel in the name of Jesus Christ. Recall that Jesus Christ was born from a town called Nazareth. Nazareth was not any particular town. Nobody knew about Nazareth until Jesus came forth from Nazareth and Nazareth became, to know, became known all over. Hallelujah. May you make your community well known. May we know about your village that there is a 
of fortune that comes from Africa. If they knew about the Jesus of Nazareth, they will know that there's a fortune from Africa, from a little town called Pretoria, South Africa. The, she is a destiny maker. She is a trendsetter. Are we communicating? I wish as I'm calling out my name, you are also calling out your name and you are saying snare is a destiny maker. God snare is a trendsetter. I am putting my family's name on the map in the name of Jesus Christ. My children shall be put on the map. They will shine. No wonder will shine. My husband will shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus, somebody declare it once more time and say I have power to manifest and excel. I am lifting up my town city like Nazareth was lifted up. Pretoria shall be known that there is a girl that loves God and there is a girl that is successful. There is a girl that is manifesting the power and glory of God. There is a girl called Fortune that is excelling. Talk to me somebody. I hope you've already put your name on that uh, on that declaration in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you ever heard of Fortune L online? Now you do. Have you ever heard of Fortune L online TikTok? Now you do. Have you ever heard of Fortune L online Facebook and YouTube? Now you do. Kalama Soto Kodia Masonda, I declare and I decree. We will shine. You will shine. You must shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you begin to shine, you will begin to bring influence. When you begin to bring influence, you will command respect. When you bring influence in your community, you will also bring it in your church in the name of Jesus Christ and amongst your kindred fellow men in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the glory that God wants you to manifest. Jesus, I said that is the glory that God wants you to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Mara official, I'm calling you forth. What do you need? I need to hear from you. What do you need? Share that live broadcast and make sure you are tapping that screen or continuously in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure with one hand you are tapping, one hand you are typing in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to me. I need somebody who says I'm hungry enough, uh, Pastor Fortune. That is the glory. We need the glory to manifest. We need the glory to manifest. Apart from being a glorious influencer, we, we need to manifest the, the righteous influence. God wants people who are righteous. God just does not want people who just become wealthy and rich but he wants people who are in right standing with his word. He says, I want the righteous to rise. I'm looking for the remnant of the church who are worshiping me in truth and in spirit. A lot of people want to manifest the glory of God, but I want the pure ones. I want the ones who are standing on righteousness side in the name of Jesus Christ. Come unto me. I will brush your life with glory in the name of Jesus. Jesus is making a calling to you this this morning when God touches your life your eyes shall be open in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to shout to your neighbor and say open my eyes Lord open my eyes so that I can begin to manifest and know what is the manifestation path that you have put for me in the name of Jesus Christ begin to show me how to change my life I want to prepare I'm ready to prepare for manifestation of glory people who are ready for the manifestation of the glory of God show yourself declare it in that comment section again power to manifest and excel in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to understand that the glory is Christ himself. When you have the Christ himself inside of you, you have the anointing and the anointed one inside of you. He is the express image of God. You are created in the image of God. No, so next time somebody wants to tell you, you look ugly or you are nobody, you understand that you can rise up and tell them, I am the express image of God. I am created in the image of God. Everything that he manifests, I manifest even more in the name of Jesus Christ. I manifest the glory of God because I am in him and he is in me. Do you understand that you need to have the connection to the vine in the name of Jesus Christ? Unless you have submitted and surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, you cannot see this manifestation. I don't know if there's somebody who is still hesitant to come to the Lord this morning, but I'm calling you forth right now. If you have been dilly-dallying about your born-again status, if you are not even born again, it's time for you to get born again and step it up. Tell your neighbor, step it up. Step it up. This is the beginning, beginning of the manifestation of the glory of God. When you combine with the vine and the vine and the vine produces the branches and the branches produces the fruit. The reason why you don't have fruit in your life is because you are not connected to the vine and you are not connected to the branches. You, 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 you're not doing what the branches are supposed to do. Therefore, it's time for alignment. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Kariaba Sunda. The, the Bible says he's the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. He's the firstborn. Me and you are also part of creation. We have a, we come 
from a lineage that is created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers come through, we are going to conquer them the same way he conquered them in the name of Jesus Christ. So you understand that Jesus, by having the preeminence in your life, you have the mandate to shine. Oh, Jesus. Are we tracking together? Step it up. Step it up. Tell your neighbor, step it up. It's time to step it up. It's time to step it up. You don't have a choice. We are in June. Today is what? 21st of June. You don't have time to play. We don't have time to be repeating last year, December's resolutions, this year's December. No, 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 no. The last six months of this year, if we need to fast track you, you need to step it up. You need to manifest. This is June. This is June. We are taking an audit of where we are. We are doing a wake up call here now, right now, right now. Wake up call. Tell your neighbor, wake up call. This is the time when you put your alarm clock on by yourself. We don't have to help you. To, 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 we are telling you it's time to wake up now. Step it up. Step it up. This is a wake up, wake up call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. You are a child of God. You need to let him know. You need to let him know. I'm here, God. I need to progress. Hallelujah. I am connected to you. Therefore, I am going to progressively commit myself to knowing you better, to moving with you closely in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to wake up in each morning and prepare to shine by beholding the face, Akadia Masanda, of the glory of God. Do you understand that you need to fulfill scripture? I behold the face of God. I behold the face of the glory of God. The word of God contains everything about him. When you have arisen like this and you have come on this platform, there is no way I will not inject the word on you. I will inject the word so that you can behold the face of glory, the glory of God. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, the word contains everything that you need. Stop running away from the word. Stop being just a quick, quick microwave Christian who just wants quick, quick prayers and quick, quick fixes. But get into the word. When you get into the word, you become explosive. You become like dynamite. You become like a diamond that is shining. Whether they like it or not, you are just shining in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The sun is like a bridegroom coming out of his chambers. He knows he is, he's, me, he's meant to shine. When the sun comes out in the morning, it does not become apologetic and, and confused. Whether I'm the moon, am I a star, am I... But it says, I'm the sun. I am meant to shine. I'm coming out. I'm the bridegroom. I'm coming out to shine. So this morning or this evening as you are sleeping, tomorrow, whatever country you are in, you wake up with the purpose that I'm going to shine. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching better than you are saying amen. You need to make sure you have to thunder that amen. And I know that you are in agreement with me. Mm, Jesus, the son, the son is like a bridegroom coming out of his chambers. He knows he's meant to shine. He's coming out in the morning and he begins to shine. As you come out of from your bedroom this morning, after your, your prayer closet moment, after your devotional, you will behold the face of your master. You will pray. You are praising him right now. You are praying to him right now. You will conversate with him throughout the day. You are the son. You are entitled. You come out and shine in public. You come out, you shine in private in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kalama Shata Kadiaba. How do I contact this manifestation, Pastor Fortune? I will take responsibility. You need to take responsibility. You need to take responsibility. Oh, you need to take responsibility. Take responsibility. Peter and John were going to the temple. They saw the lame men that they, they, they acted accordingly. They, they said, do you want money? They asked him, do you, and, and he said, we, uh, uh, he, he wanted money from them. He, we, we do not have money, but we have Jesus. Hallelujah. I may not have money, but I have Jesus. It starts there. Hallelujah. You take responsibility. You say, let me get this Jesus so that I can manifest what I need. Ah. God expects us to be proactive child of God. He expects us to take responsibility. We are to speak on his behalf, to confront cases that we see on a daily basis. People are suffering out there. People want Jesus. People need Jesus. Some of them don't know that they want Jesus and we are quiet. There's, there's a scripture. Oh my God, I forgot to write, to, to check the exact reference. But if you are seeing something that is in need or God gives you a word and you don't tell that person that their blood is in your hand. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus. There's so much evil around us that is requiring, requiring that we take responsibility and bring influence upon our systems around us, upon the lives of other people. Let us step up and do what we require. Somebody shout step up in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the responsibility that you have given us, oh God. You need to make sure that you believe and obey God. Believe and obey God. Jesus said to mother, if you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. When you contact glory, you begin to manifest it. Your, your family is waiting for you to manifest the glory of God. Oh, Jesus. May the Lord help us to step up in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord help us to step up in Jesus' mighty name. Jealousy will not help you. Envy will not help you. You need to take responsibility and step up in Jesus' mighty name. This is your season to manifest his glory. This is your season to manifest excellence in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody type it again in the comment section. I have power to manifest and I have power to excel. I have power to manifest and I have power to excel. But we all with an unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of God are being transformed into the same image of God from glory to glory, just by the spirit of the Lord. Do you understand that he puts you, he moves you in position from glory to glory, from glory to glory. Believe and obey. We all with an unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of God. We are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the Lord. It is the desire of our God that we behold his face daily. Hallelujah. Make your up your mind that you are going to behold his face. Hallelujah. You have power to manifest and you have power to excel. Oh, honey. Oh, oh honey. Hallelujah. Grace, you have power to manifest and you have power to excel in Jesus mighty name. Chido, you have power to excel and you have power to manifest. Hallelujah. So today, as we begin our prayers, make up your mind. I am prepared to manifest his glory. I will purge myself of any sin. I will search out anything that is inhibiting me from flowing in the flow of God. I have power to excel. I have power to excel in Jesus mighty name. Somebody type it one more time. Power to manifest and power to excel. I have power to manifest and I have power to excel in Jesus mighty name. When I started, I started with Romans 8, 9. I said, for the earnest expectation, how am I doing for time? I'm still good. For the earnest expectation of the creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. Father, this morning, we ask you that you release the power to manifest and excel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you release the power to manifest and excel in the name of Jesus Christ. The whole world is waiting for us to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name that is above every other name, I decree and I declare there shall be no no more delay for you to manifest. You will excel in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be no longer any delay for you to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kadia Basataka. Oh, honey. I, I'm, I'm glad that you met your words today. I'm glad that God has said what you needed today in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, God. Father, we pray every protocol of delay, every protocol of delay, it is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout it along with me and say, every protocol of delay, you are broken right now. Every protocol of delay, it is broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every protocol of delay is, is broken. The reasons why many sons and daughters of God are not manifesting is because they are caged and we need to release them from the cages. They are caged by, by mental depression. They are caged by, by, by disappointment. They are caged by evil manipulations. They are caged. My God, my God. Every protocol of delay is broken now in the name of Jesus. Oh, look at the scripture. Luke chapter 13, verse 16 says, So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, think of it for 18 years, be loose from this bond on the Sabbath? So Jesus was saying, is it possible that you being a child of God, that you are having an affliction and infirmity, that because it is a Sabbath, we will not heal you? It ought not to be so. You are a child of God. It ought not to be so. You are not to be bent down like this. It ought not to be so that you are living in poverty. It, is ought, it ought not to be so. It is not the destiny. It is not the glory he's calling you out for. Whatever bondage you find yourself, 
I decree and declare to you on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever bondage that you are finding yourself in, I decree and I declare that you are lifted out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are lifted out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, as I pray, Everyone who's at the sound of my voice, every spiritual, every invisible cage that the enemy has caged us in, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that it is coming out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. It is coming out by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. No more delay. Any invisible cage, it must catch fire right now. Any invisible cage, begin to declare it right now. Any spiritual cage, any invisible cage, any evil cage, right now, catch fire, catch fire. The Lord that answers by fire, make it catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the thunder of the Lord strike it forth right now. It's struck down right now. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every dream that you, that, that you have dreamt, hallelujah, that has resulted you in, in being in a satanic cage in your life. Right now, I declare and I decree that it is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that you are flying. I decree and I declare that there shall be no more cage in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot be caged anymore. You will not be caged anymore. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody somewhere is waiting for you to start something. Somebody somewhere is waiting for you to start something, something Phoebe. Somebody is waiting for you to start something, Chimunya. Hallelujah. Somebody is waiting for you to start something, Mam Sophie. Somebody is waiting for you to start something, Brenda. Hallelujah. Something that will be of benefit in their life. Somebody is waiting for the solution that you are carrying, the answer that you are carrying. Oh, Jesus. Somebody somewhere is waiting for you to start. Tell your neighbor, I'm starting. I'm starting. I don't know whether it's a business you need to start. You are starting. If it is school that you need to start, you are starting. If it is, if it is a change of attitude and a change of, maybe you have, you, you've been harboring a stinking attitude. It is time to start. I'm starting. I'm starting. Whatever it is, the goalpost, whatever it is, I'm starting right now. I'm going to make sure I'm going through that door. That door that is holding my goodness, that door that is holding my blessings is going to open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm starting today. I'm starting my job. Come on, declare and decree it. I'm starting my job. I'm starting my foreign journey. I'm going to whatever country start. I'm starting with my application. I'm starting right now. Thank you, Jesus. We are starting to be debt free in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm starting to build my house in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm starting to raise my family in a godly way in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm starting. I'm starting. That door shall open in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is holding those keys, it will open. I will knock and I will keep on knocking. I will ask and I will keep on asking. My God, I will seek and I will keep on seeking until I find in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is waiting for me to start. God has created you to be a catalyst for their destinies to manifest. So you understand that equally as you are praying for the other destiny helpers to come and help your destiny to manifest, you also need to make sure that you are a catalyst that helps somebody else's destiny to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you understand that, you understand that if you are not manifesting, nobody can benefit from it. So you must manifest so that somebody else can benefit from it as well. Thank you, Godfrey. God bless you. For example, the potential that God has given you to be an employer of labor. Maybe you are meant to be employing other people. Maybe you are not meant to be in a job. Can God expand your mind? Can you be expanded? Can God give you the wisdom to think outside the box? What is it that I came here for, Lord? What am I I equipped for. Maybe I'm the next great baker of cakes or whatever it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, but I will manifest that thing. I will employ people. I will open breakeries all around. I will have farms in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, if that thing is not manifesting yet, it will affect destinies of other people. Hallelujah. Other destinies are depending on your manifestation. So you must make sure you manifest. Take your place and manifest. I want you to tag your neighbor and tell them, take your place and manifest. And if they're not tagging you, tag yourself and tell yourself, take your place, fortune, and manifest. 
Hallelujah. If the neighbor that is scrolling behind you is too slow, tag yourself and say, fortune, take your place and manifest. Uh, um, uh, uh, royal, take your place and manifest. Adwa, Adwang, take your place and manifest. I decree you will not be a slave in this lifetime in Jesus' mighty name. Take your place and manifest, Papa Blacks. Take your place and mani manifest, Nay. Take your place and manifest, Brenda, in Jesus' mighty name. You are being fruitful, Lerato. Take your place and manifest. Let us see your fruitfulness. We want to know what kind of fruit are you. We are ready for you. We want to buy that fruit. We want to we wanna celebrate that fruit in Jesus' mighty name. Take your place and manifest. It's one thing to be born is another thing to manifest. Make up your mind that you will not only just be born. I told you, it's a, it, 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 it's, it's a terrible thing just to be born and come into the world with a birth certificate and a death certificate. Get some other certificates in between. Get some legacy in between. Get something that we will remember you by. Oh, Karaba Sota Kadia. I refuse to have a one page obituary. It's a lie. Mm -mm. It's a lie. In fact, I refuse to even have an obituary. I want to be raptured in Jesus' mighty name. You need, well, what does it mean that you're going to manifest, Pastor Fortune? You, you have to be an advertisement of the divine power of God. Do you understand that you are an advertisement of the divine power of God? I want you to raise this prayer with me and pray along with me and say, my father, I'm available. Make me a solution to my generation in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, I'm available. Make me a solution to my generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Make me a solution to get to the highest point of your divine agenda. Make me that solution. The eagle goes to the tallest branch of the tallest tree of the tallest mountain. It does not have a clear vision until that is of what is happening around it, until it goes to that top of that tree. Make up your mind that you will be like an eagle, that you are launching off from the highest point, the peak point. Hallelujah. If you do not understand what is going on around you, you cannot excel. So you need an eagle vision. You need an eagle's view. You need an overview. You need to be at the mountaintop where God has placed you, where you are seeing what is happening around you. My father, I'm available. Make me a solution to my generation. Yes, sir. He is making you a solution. Mendeza, you are the solution in Jesus' mighty name. Sophie, you are the solution to your generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are, mount, you, are, you are mounting like an eagle. You are mounting like an eagle. You are having an overview. You understand what is happening. Therefore, your strategy does not miss. Your plan does not miss in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. If you want to manifest, you must not be comfortable with the spot where you are. You are an eagle. Nothing stops an eagle. An eagle never stops at a low point. It moves to the peak point. I want you to declare to your, to, to your neighbor, I'm moving to the peak point. I'm coming out of my comfort zone. I'm going to soar to the peak. I'm soaring to the peak. I'm coming out of my comfort zone. I'm soaring to the peak in Jesus' mighty name. Ah, shakataka. I decree every good opportunity coming your way. You will not miss them again in Jesus' mighty name. Every good opportunity coming your way. You will not miss it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Father, we are in your presence this morning. We will not miss any divine opportunity again. By virtue of us just being here, we will not miss any divine opportunity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out of your comfort zone. Go to the mountaintop. Soar to the peak experience in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I break the curse of thou shalt not excel. I don't know who has said you will not excel. But right now, I break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A curse can prevent a man from excelling. Oh, Jesus. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord said. He said, Reuben pulled his trouser and he slept with his father's wife. He did not excel. What is that thing that the enemy is setting a trap for you not to excel? And because of that thing that he did, a curse was released upon him. Every curse that comes from your parents that is affecting you, I command it to be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of these curses they did, some of these curses they did not realize that they were actually cursing you. Yes, you may have been bad. Yes, you may have been rebellious. Maybe you did not understand. You did not understand the seasons and the times. You did not understand that the rebuke was meant to correct you and bring you to a marvelous light of God. My God, my God.
And a curse was spoken by parents. You need to understand that curses that are spoken by parents, they are very powerful. And that's why you need to break them. You need to break them. Some of them were unlawfully said yes. Even the ones that were legally said, maybe in anger and whatever, we need to break those curses. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want you, that is why the light has come, oh honey. Thank you, thank you. Your spirit is open to receive this morning. Father, I reverse every curse from our parents. Whatever they said, oh God, whatever has caused us not to move forward, whatever error we committed, Father, we ask for your forgiveness. We repent in whatever way we disrespected them. In whatever way in the courts of heaven they might have been entitled to curse us, oh God. Father, we reverse that curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You need to be careful. The next thing, you need to be careful who you associate yourself with in life. Who you associate with can affect whether you excel or not. Misery loves company. So people who are not going anywhere, they always like to have people around them. Be careful to check your associations. You cannot, you, 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 you cannot be hanging around with people who are going nowhere, year in, year out. And you are wondering why you are not excelling. They are not speaking anything productive to you. They are not even propelling you to go forward. They're not pushing you. They are telling you, Kuraf, can't you see the government is not doing anything? They are telling you every single negative thing. My God, my God, I break every association you have with people who are not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere fast and you know it. You know that this one has no plans. There's nothing that you talk about when you are with them. The only thing you are talking about is the gin and tonic. The only thing you are talking about is how you are buying the next beers, how you are going to do the next bra. I don't know what you call it in other countries. It always surprises me that people who say they are broke, they have money to buy alcohol. People who say they are broke, they have money to buy every single other thing. People who say they are broke and they don't have time to fellowship or they can't get to church, they are the ones that I see queuing up at McDonald's. They are the ones who can buy the ribs. They've got money to buy. I don't know whether it's just temporary excitement or what. It's a lie. I gave up in associating or, or even wanting to listening to business proposals of people that, 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 that say, Pastor, I need help to start my business. I don't have money. And you are looking for me to be an investor in that business. And when your money is going to buy takeaways, you are not ready to make the sacrifice. Jesus, the devil is a liar. You have money for everything. How come you have money to pay for psychologists, but you don't have money to come to church? You don't have money to grow your church. You don't have money to expand the kingdom of God. But you believe so much in that tablet. In that Xenex tablet, can't you see that this is a cage? Can't you see that they want to cage you? Oh, Kalama Shota. You will drop it, my lovey. You will. Don't worry. Don't stress. You will drop it. Win it out the way they said you must win it out of your blood system. It's fine. But speak the blood of Jesus so that it wins out very quickly in you. It's a cage. They want you to be trapped in a cycle. Do, do you not understand why they keep calling you and offering you credit? They know that you cannot afford, but they still offer you another cell phone contract. Why? They know that you miss your installments, but they still offer you the same credit because they want to come for everything. He comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. They want to take everything. You said I missed my, my house installment, but you are coming and you're offering money for the car. Why? Why do they want to cage us in a, in a cycle of debt? Making us have false hopes. You are still giving us credit cards. You want to cage us. Wake up, child of God. Step it up. We are in June. We are transitioning into the second half of the year. Transition with your mind intact. Every year we cannot be talking about debt cancellation. You are waiting for supernatural debt cancellation. Some of the debt cancellation needs to come from here first. That is the supernatural that is entering right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Kadiyama Soto Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You will manifest and you will excel. You will do what it takes. You will manifest and you will excel. You will be the 1%. You will be the 1%. Make up your mind. I am getting into the 1% that will make it. I'm going to fight until I make it. I will. Re I refuse to be in a repetitive cycle of credit cards upon credit card. And I've got one debt after the other. And I set myself 10 years back and my children, I die and my children don't have anything. Kaya basata kadia. Do you understand that this is a setup? This is a setup. Do you see the setup? Guys, are you seeing the setup? That is a setup. Let me come back. So as I was talking about your associations, relationships are like, are like a black market. You need the light of God to shine and to excel in this market of relationships. Hallelujah. You will not be a negative instrument for somebody to rise. You need to understand that there are people who want to use you. It's one thing for somebody who says, I need you to be my destiny helper, but don't come with the spirit of using me. Don't come with the spirit of wanting to step on me. Don't come with the spirit of wanting to steal my star, to steal my crown. Don't come with a satanic evil agenda because I will see you a mile off. That is why you, it's important you must have a spirit of discernment. Hallelujah. You will not be a negative instrument for somebody to rise in Jesus' mighty name. I, I the, the, the curse that stopped Reuben from manifesting in life, the curse that stopped Reuben from manifesting in his life, anything you'll do, I declare and I decree, you will not just manifest, you will run away from that curse in the name of Jesus Christ. You are running away from that kind of curse that, 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 that stopped Reuben. You will not be stopped in Jesus' mighty name. Halabakadiaba. I decree and I declare that you are free from the curse of the words that have been spoken in your life. You will manifest. We break every curse that was spoken in word form against your life, whether by your siblings, anybody, your friends, anybody, any curse, any curse that has been spoken by an abusive spouse upon you. Right now, we break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. For you to manifest and excel, you must be an intimate friend of God. Make up your mind today. I'm going to be a friend of God. You can have all the degrees in school and still not manifest. But if you are a friend of God, you've got a fighting chance. Obey God, God in totality. When you become a special treasure to God, God will not allow you to lack any good thing. Hallelujah. Whatever it takes to be a special treasure is obedience. Make up your mind, I will be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Oh, Jesus, how am I doing for time? 10 minutes and we're out. Hallelujah. Separate yourself from your Lord. Separate from yourself from bad friends. Separate yourself from sin. Separate yourself from bad families. It's okay not to go to their function. If they are bad and you know that they are scheming against you and they want to bring you down, why do you want to go avail yourself so that they can try and practice their juju. Yes, it will not work even if you find yourself in their vicinity. But you don't have to apologize. There was a saying that I, I was pondering on yesterday. I forgot what it was. But it was something very funny. You are not obligated to, to help anybody who has not availed themselves to, 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 to be there for you. Anybody who's ungrateful. You are not obligated to help them. You are not. Some people you will help. You will help pay for their whole tuition fee, they will just say thanks. They will send you an SMS and just say thanks. Do you understand the sacrifice that somebody would have gone through to help you put through to school? That they didn't have an obligation, that, that you are not their blood child, they didn't give birth to you, you didn't come from their womb? Do you understand what it takes to, 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 for somebody to bless you and take his, their last money because they, they see that this is your breakthrough moment? Do you understand that you need to be humble enough and, 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 and come with gratitude? Some of you, the reason why you're not being helped by family relatives is because of your attitude. Because of the way you speak. Because you think you've come with a sense of entitlement. You need to understand, I've been teaching you how to, 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 to treat your destiny helpers, your potential destiny helpers. You can't just talk anyhow. Maybe your uncle helped you in 1980 or 1990, 
But because of the way you responded, they just say this child is ungrateful and they just don't want to help you anymore. Oh, Kadia Basada. Who's, who's having a monitoring spirit? Hala, Kadia Basada. We'll deal with it. Amen. It's coming out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are breaking that curse of a monitoring spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Separate yourself from them. Tell your neighbor, separate. Ah, Somlanda. I'm telling you, there is somebody who is supposed to help you. Some people, we are so angry with our family members, our relatives. But it was actually our attitudes that broke the thing. Somebody who came with that sense of entitlement. I did, I'm not obligated. I'm not obligated. When we get to the prayer request, we will deal with the prayer request. But right now we are dealing with the word of God. Let's hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying, because it might actually be the thing that unlocks your prayer request. Amen, somebody. Because you think about it yourself. If the Holy Spirit has a personality and God has a personality and has feelings, and he can be hurt. Just imagine how many times we go to God and we ask for something. And we, sometimes we don't even come back and say thank you when the thing has manifested. Some people are carrying around in their heads that when they come back and say thank you to their pastor, it's like you are worshiping a man. No, he's the vessel that God used. If God uses me as a vessel, there is nothing wrong with you coming to say thank you for this breakthrough and giving a testimony. God works through a man and we give all glory to God. We need to check ourselves. Why are people not wanting to help? If God has feelings and can be hurt anytime we don't come back and say, thank you. Do, understand this setup. When you are called and asked to give a testimony in church, do you think it's just uh, uh, your pastor trying to brag or what is, what are we, what is happening? We overcome by the words of our testimonies. Your testimony is helping somebody get encouraged that they're also going to make it, that they're also going to pull through, that God is going to step up for them. So when you just sit there and keep quiet, yes, you might be shy and you, you, you don't want to speak in public, but we ask you to bring your testimony in a public place. I ask, sometimes ask you to go and write in the comment section in the videos that I've pinned. Tell them of what the Lord has done so that when somebody stumbles on that video can see that the Lord is alive and has done something positive for you. And they don't give up and they say, if God did it for Ritzhofat, so he's going to do it for me. Amen, somebody. If God did it for one day, he's going to do it for me. God wants to be put on stages. He made Jesus more famous than he is. That is why he says, go and preach the gospel to the four corners of the earth. Make disciples of all men. He wants you to go spread the gospel, spreading the gospel by testimony, spreading the gospel by showing them the signs and wonders that have happened in your life. Do you understand that we are the only marketing platform, the divine power, the advertisement? You are the billboard that Jesus needs in the world for people to come into the world. The, 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 the enemies of the, of the Lord, people in the secular industry, they've got the biggest billboards they can afford. They are putting, if they put a savannah up there on, on the billboard, they're advertising it with a lot of money, thousands and thousands. Snay's here on, on, on Facebook. He can, she can tell you how much people spend big billboards to advertise things that will, that will damage your liver. Big billboards to advertise things that will lead you to sin. Oh, because I'm preaching holiness, people will want to run away. If I stay here right now, I bind that spirit of running away. You're not going away in Jesus' name. But no, if you want to advertise a conference for Jesus, you know, it's too much. They're spending too much. Church is just too extravagant. Does they, do they have to do all that? Yes, they have to do all that. Why not? Why can't we do all that? Why can't, why shouldn't we be on TV so that we can reach more people? Why must this alcoholic bottle be more on TV? Thank God that even TikTok says, do not even be caught using substance abuse on their lives. You are an advertisement of the divine power of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. After you have done these things, 
you can attack whatever power that is fighting you from manifestation and excelling in Jesus' mighty name. Three minutes. Oh my God, give me grace to, to, to accelerate. I decree and I declare, this is my prayer for you this morning, that you will be an advertisement of a divine power of God. God will advertise you. Your glory will be advertised. Your destiny shall be advertised in the name of Jesus. I pray for you this morning. You will receive power to rise like an eagle. That power to rise like an eagle is resting upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that headache in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that headache in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that headache in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody has just been healed of a very big migraine right now. That pain has just left you. Every curse that says you shall not excel in your life, I decree and I declare at the sound of my voice, as you shout it along with me, tell it I am not your candidate. I break every power that says that I will not excel. I am not your candidate. You will, I will excel in Jesus' mighty name by the blood of Jesus. Oh God, arise by your power. Rule over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the power to change from the almighty God this morning morning receive the power to move forward this morning by the mighty by the mighty power of the almighty in jesus christ you will manifest in your life you will excel in your life the lord is causing you to arise and is causing you to be empowered in the mighty name of jesus christ receive the empowerment to excel in the mighty name of jesus christ oh god arise lift up my head lift up my shoulders above my enemies in the name of jesus let that be your prayer right now let the lord lift up your shoulders let the Lord lift up your head right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, make me the light of the world. As you have said, oh God, I'm moving and I'm stepping up, oh God. I'm a city that is set upon a hill in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cannot be hidden and no one will just hide me under a bushel. No one is going to hide me under a table in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, you have caused me to shine so that others can see the good that you do in my life and they will praise you for it in the name of Jesus Christ. They will draw closer to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I am the light of the world. I am a city that is built on top of the hill in the name of Jesus Christ. I will no longer be hidden in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The intentions of heaven shall manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. The intentions concerning your life shall manifest in Jesus' mighty name. You will reflect and shine this light. Whatever your level for the second half and the rest of this year, you will manifest. I said, whatever you are, wherever you are right now for this second half of the year as we transition out of june into july you will manifest and you will reflect the manifestation of glory you will reflect the excellence of glory in the mighty name of jesus christ the glory of the lord will be revealed in you in jesus mighty name your destiny will no longer be hidden in the mighty name of jesus christ oh my god i want you to declare and, and decree and see yourself you are a city wherever darkness is reigning in your life illuminated with your light right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to see it from today. You will not be synonymous with darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that talks to darkness shall but not be associated with your character in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness and conspiracy against your life and your family life right now, the Lord is going to expose it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every level of manifestation that overrides all forms of, of darkness, right now you are receiving it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving every form of light that will override any form of darkness right now. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to make you a brand name in the whole world in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a brand. You are a lasting brand that will last longer. You are not a, just a one-time show. You are not going to be forgotten in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every name that you have carried that is not yours up until now. I don't know whether that name has been sickness or disease. I don't know whether that name has been poverty. I whether I not know that name has been depression or emotional distraughtness of whatever sort. Right now, Father God, we delete that name for as long as it is not the name that you gave us, oh God. We delete it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord renaming you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is renaming your family. The Lord is renaming your ministry. The Lord is renaming your business in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is giving you a new great name, a new name that will be greater, that you will be great. You will uh, uh, 
associate with a great name. I want you to tell your neighbor, greatness is my name. Greatness is my name in the name of Jesus Christ. And the brand of greatness shall manifest and be synonymous with godliness in your life. No, no, no longer shall you not be associated with godliness, but you will be associated with godliness, with power and grace. Grace is your name. Power is your name. Godliness is your name. From today, I declare and I decree concerning you. Right now, you will manifest and matter. You will be mattered in the name of Jesus Christ. You will matter. You will be relevant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the rest of this year, you will manifest and not be irrelevant. I come against the spirit of irrelevancy in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. As the year will come drawing closer to an end, every principality, every power that has been slowing you down right now is being dethroned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are a city that is built on. So we are dethroning every principality, every power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare everything about you that is manifesting and growing. It will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. That which has been going good in your life up until now, it will manifest and it will grow in the name of Jesus Christ. Every seed that you have given me, oh God, whether physical or spiritual, it will not die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are moving in your spiritual maturity. You are growing spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will manifest anything that the God has moved you spiritually, physically, anything that you have gained spiritually, physically, you will not lose in the name of Jesus Christ. Every weakness that you have carried that has wanted to destroy you or destroy whatever you have built right now, it is being destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that is hell bent in destroying you, whatever it is, everyone that wants to destroy whatever you have been building, whether it is your marriage, whether it is a house, whatever it is in the physical or in the spiritual realm, right now the Lord is going to show you those people. Thank you, favor, grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the law of momentum, the law of growth will speak for you. I command you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the law of momentum, let the law of growth speak for you. The law of growth is speaking for you. You will grow. You will succeed. You will have momentum. You will not tire in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is in your foundation that is still troubling you right now, I uproot it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot anything that is still troubling you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every curse that was built in into your success story right now, I command it to be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. I terminate every single curse, whatever it is, whatever it is, whether they put it as a virus against my success story right now, it is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, whatever it will take, let my generation manifest first for a long time in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Father, make me to be relevant. Let me not be terminated. Let my generation be not be terminated. Let us manifest and rise. Father, we will be part of the 1% in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every long-standing issue that has been making you to cry in the name of Jesus Christ has become history right now from today, this June, this Ju June, as you transition into July, you will not cry any longer in the name of Jesus Christ. You are on top of a hill. I want you to shout in that comment section and say, I am visible. I am visible. I don't know who has been ignoring you, who has been making you a non-entity, but I want you to say it in the comment section and say, I am visible. I am visible. I matter. I am somebody. I am visible. So if you are even in an abusive relationship or even in an abusive workplace, have the audacity to be articulate enough and to stand up for yourself and say, I am visible. I matter. You will not speak to me anyhow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will reach the pinnacle of my career and destiny. Make that your prayer right now. Decree and declare it right now. Your career, in your career, in your destiny, you will reach the pinnacle thereof. You are reaching the peak point in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the spirit of excellence. Manifest in every family member right now. Let the spirit of excellence manifest in every family member. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak to you right now. Mom Jester, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree you will go far. You will go very far. Sophie, you will go far. You will go very far. Kathy, you will go far and very far. Kathy, you will open another store in the name of Jesus Christ. That You will go far and you will go very far. Oh, Nwasha, you will go far and you will go very far. Noah, you will go far and you will go very far. Chido, you will go far and you will go very far. Speak to your to, to, to whatever it is that you are busy with. Speak to that store, Kathy, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to that thing that you have been dealing with. You will go far. Those of you who are sending prayer requests, 
request right now. Speak to those prayer requests and declare to them that I'm going far. You will not stop me. There is no monitoring spirit that will stop me in the name of Jesus Christ. I will go far. There is no curse that will stop me. I will go far and I will go very far. I speak into the month of June and the remainder of it. I declare and I command it to manifest. Perfection shall manifest in the month of July. Perfection shall manifest in the month of August. I prophesy a new beginning shall manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. I said in the month of July, perfection shall manifest in the month of August, a new beginning shall manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could thunder that amen well in the name of Jesus Christ. In September, complete freedom will manifest in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy fruitfulness in the month of October. You will manifest fruitfulness. My month of October, November, I will be restored. Restoration shall manifest in December. I will complete all projects in the manifest presence of God, in the manifest power of God, in the manifest anointing of God for excellence and manifestation. All projects are completed in this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me tell your neighbor, I cannot be hidden. You cannot hide me. I cannot be hidden. I cannot be hidden. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power that hides people from glory, it is beginning to fail right now. In fact, it has already packed up its bag. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, every Every power that hides people's glory, it fails right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my character not give away to sin. Let my character not give way to sin and death. You will not die early this year in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die before your time. Sin will not trap you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your glory will not be hidden by sin. Your glory will not be hidden for you going to the grave with all the things that God has put inside of you. Your potential shall manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your character will not give way to sin and death. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for everybody that has arisen this morning. Lord, as they go out into their separate days, Father, those that are coming back from work, Father, thank you, Lord, that you have given them momentum to also rise again tomorrow. I thank you for everybody, Lord, that has arisen this morning. Lord, I prophesy a fruitful day for them. Father, grant them their heart's desires. Father, be the illuminator in their minds, in their eyes, Lord. Let them hear your voice clearly, O oh God. Let their commitment to your word and commitment to the prayers, O oh God grow even more in Jesus' mighty name. They, let their life expand in Jesus' mighty name. I give you glory. Father, thank you for using me as a vessel and bringing me on these platforms, on these various platforms, oh God. I don't take it for granted, oh God. Lord, for as long as I live, for as long as there's breath in my heart and in my mind and in my body, let me live to exalt your holy name. Let me live to glorify your holy name. Let me live to be an answer to somebody's prayer. Let me live to be a solution let me live to be a protocol breaker that gives somebody hope that they can move on and they can do it again and they can live again, that they can rise from the dust and the ashes, that their bones shall live again in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for calling me and sending me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, um, everybody on YouTube and on Facebook. God bless you. Those of you on Facebook and YouTube, I don't know if you do have TikTok accounts. Please do uh, um, uh, make sure or try and get a TikTok account. It might make it easier for us to talk. But we will uh, televise today, I think, uh, 7 p.m. tonight. We are having a session where we are praying for husbands. We are also having a session where we are praying for marriages um, from an aspect of restoration. We've received a lot of prayer requests, people who are going through marriages in their lives, and some of them want their marriages restored. Some of them are confused. So if you want to come through, you want to ask a question, there will be a Zoom link that will be shared in the WhatsApp. There is a poster on my channel on TikTok, uh, Fortunel Online. If you open that picture. There is a barcode that you scan with your WhatsApp. If you scan that barcode, 
you will be in the WhatsApp group automatically. So I found a way that is much quicker for you to join the WhatsApp group. And once you're in the WhatsApp group, it's really purely there for notification from the admins and that you will get notification anytime we are live or any other platform. So there are those people that may want to come into the Zoom and say their story there. Or you might want to come on the TikTok platform and I will just be taking up requests uh, for people who want to ask for a question. And we will give the rules of engagement when you are on TikTok, how you're going to do that. And then um, Apostle Mara will be joining me. We will be praying along together. We will be um, giving whatever counsel that the Holy Spirit will help us to give. If you've got a question, uh, those of you who are still intending to get married, you want marital settlement and you want to ask certain questions. Maybe the question might even be simply, is this person right for me? Uh, this is what I'm seeing. Maybe you want us to help you work through the red flags. So for about an hour and a half or so, up to two hours, we will be on the TikTok platform talking, engaging. We will be broadcasting on our other channels as well. But if you want to say something uh, verbally, uh, we'll give you an opportunity either on the Zoom or the TikTok platform if you know how to operate. If you don't know how TikTok works, uh, there will be a Zoom link that will be shared in the WhatsApp um, groups as well. So thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, guys. I love you so much. Take care. Thank you. God bless you, uh, everybody on TikTok, on, on Facebook. Nyoa, Chido, Sne, I saw, Vimbai, I saw, amen. Thank you so much. Anybody that I've not read your name, it's because the, the, the comments are scrolled up already. God bless you, everybody. Those of you who are watching the replay on YouTube, um, awesomeness. Uh, thank you so much. Don't forget to like the videos and uh, subscribe as well. Bye-bye.